and right handed will send the ball towards Larson's left hand in the four spot, just to the left of centre. The ball is transferred over to Jorgensen. Jorgensen puts a lot of power on that ball. Sends the ball off the toes of Amy Nebon as she's running after it like a sprinter to get it back to Orgelez. Orgelez left-handed sends the ball across the court. Larson pushes the ball away in front of Vegstead. 2.53 left in this game. Is there a winner? There is no overtime, remember. This is a round-robin event. There doesn't have to be a winner. But I think you'll agree the winner has been goal ball so far. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's absolutely right. Vedstead across the court towards Cassie Orgelez. She'll deliver the ball back towards Vedstead. Vedstead catches it in her midriff and hands the ball delicately to Jorgensen. And Jorgensen, rather less delicately, slams the ball across it, misses Nabon, but Moran kicks the ball away in that two spot. Kneebone bounces the ball down towards Larson. Larson traps the ball and moves the ball to Luca Vegstead. Vegstead holds the ball high, sends the ball across the court, and we're into the last two minutes. Timeout called by Canada. And one starts to think about all these 12 minute games that these ladies have been playing over the last two days. This is their fifth game in two days, and especially on the Danish side, who yesterday had one. Uh, substitute on the bench and today had no substitutes on the bench one wonders if fitness will be a factor in the next 124 seconds in the event of a tie both sides get one point I believe it's three points for a win one point for a tie Two minutes and four seconds for both of these sides to try and come up with a winner. Nancy Moran on the left-hand side, coming off that right-hand post, bounces the ball off Jorgensen. Jorgensen pushes the ball around the right-hand side. Karina Jorgensen, the number six, strides into the middle. And delivers the ball across towards Nancy Moran. It comes off her knee pads. Knee bones up quickly to trap the ball and she'll deliver the ball back to Moran. Moran will go down the line. It's off the outstretched arms of Larson. Larson was a little worried where the ball was going. But all the pace had been taken off it. And Vedstead was able to collect. 1 minute 32 seconds to go as Vedstead sends the ball towards Kneebone. Kneebone holds on. And from the two spot, almost on the right hand post actually, sends the ball down the line. Very accurate. And uh, Vedstead is forced to push the ball away. She collects her own block. She takes a deep breath. She sends the ball back down towards Moran. Moran has to make the save on the right-hand post. And she'll squeeze that ball. And she'll deliver the ball down into the uh, four spot where Larson traps the ball with her both her hands. Larson claps her hands in encouragement for Jorgensen. Jorgensen on the right-hand side almost finds a way through Orgelez and Kneebone. But Kneebone turning around after the ball passed her grabs hold of the ball as it comes off of Orgelez. Jorgensen on the return, kicks the ball away. We're into the last 45 seconds. Is there a winner in this game? There doesn't have to be, remember. This is not a semi-final. This is not a knockout. This is the start of the round-robin tournament to decide the winner. Nancy Moran sends the ball almost through the legs of Larson, but she traps it and holds it between her toes. Then she moves the ball to Vedstead into the last 30 seconds. Vedstead, right-handed, forces Kneebone to do exactly the same thing that Maria Larson did. One wonders if they know that that was exactly the same throw from both sides. Nancy Moran sends the ball down the line, and it's kicked away by uh, Vedstead. We're into the last 10 seconds. This will be the last throw for Denmark. Luca Vedstead sends the ball across the court. It's blocked by Orgelez. Three seconds left. There's no time for Canada, and this game will end in a 3-3 tie. Fantastic.